Welcome back, everybody, to Arc Frame Rate Evolved. I mean, Ascended. I mean, Descended. <laughs> Good Lord. Uh, the frames are so bad right here, cause probably just because of all the textures on these rocks. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm an old guy, uh, old, little bit of old guy gaming. I'm not drunk, I promise you, at least not yet. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're back, and I have gathered up all the resources uh, we need to build our base and have placed them inside of this container so that's what we're gonna do for the first part of this episode and then we're gonna just go do a little bit of exploring on this island i have you know obviously i've been on this island before in arc survival evolved uh but um not on ascended so uh we'll, we'll kind of go see this this island for those of you who don't know uh only has herbivores so there's no carnivore uh, carnivorous dinosaurs and uh there's also supposed to be some metal nodes um up yonder too which will be very useful uh, to help us get started. Uh, also, I did eventually crash even with uh, DLSS turned off. I, I did manage to get about two hours maybe or so of gameplay in, uh, which included th the recording of the last episode. Uh, but eventually it crashed when, once again, I uh, accessed the inventory or more specifically opened this up. So uh, I've turned uh, DLSS back on because it just looks so much better, you know, with it on. And we'll see how things go in regards to that. Uh, okay, so let's get started here with uh, our build and um, see see how we do. And yeah, my, my frames are are not very good, but, you know, we're just going to deal with it. Because here again, we're not going to stay here forever. This is just our starter base. Um, I, I want to have, you know, whatever our main base ends up, or wherever I should say, it ends up being. I want it to be in a fairly central location. Oh, you know what I forgot to do, though? I forgot to turn the clouds off. That's going to help the frame rate like a bazillion times. Uh, usually it takes a, a couple of moments after you remove the, crowd, uh, the clouds before things kind of settle down. So it's still a little bit framey stuttery, but it is what it is. Okay, so here's a plan here. Uh, we're going to make uh, we're going to make a four by four. Uh, base this time and uh, I want to kind of have like a, a little dock too that we can then just pull up to with the raft or maybe even you know something that perhaps goes out into the water I don't know um, so I guess this is pretty close to the center uh, of where we're at here and so um, just trying to decide what height I want this at. I kind of want it to be, well, it's got to be high enough to cover the ground. So why don't, here, actually, let me get into camera mode too so I can see a little bit better about what's going on here. Zoom way out. Move that forward a little bit, a little bit more. Okay. So we'll put this, let's try it move it over a little bit more here too okay let's try it there and we'll go over here with this one this is where it might clip into the ground but if it does well no I think we'll be okay Say, I was going to say if it does, we could actually build out into the water a little bit. But I, I want to make um, like a little dock going out this way uh, too. But we'll we'll worry about that later. Okay, so that worked out pretty good as far as, you know, not uh, clipping into the ground or anything like that. So that's good. Let's grab our walls next. And, you know, here again, I'm not intending to get real fancy with this base because it's just our starter base we will worry about fancy schmancy stuff later when we make the main base okay so let me think about this and yeah, because this is a four by four we can't put the door in the center not not that we have to but um i kind of like to do that But, yeah, again, starter base, let's not worry about it so much. Um, what I might do in that case is just put the door on the corner then, just so we have, you know, really good wall space. 
and uh, let's make it a double door. I actually made single doors, but we can remake those. That's not a big deal. Okay, so that's the the front door, and let's have a back door too. So, yeah, we'll put a, a back door there. Okay, and then what we'll do is. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I, I was thinking there. Sorry, I wasn't spacing off. I was thinking. Um, let's do windows in the center. And then we'll do normal walls on the corners. Okay. Uh, yeah, right there. I like that. Oh, got to do these over here too. Beautiful. Um, okay, so that takes care of the walls. Let's head over uh, back over here and get um, the the roof pieces now. And again, I gotta I gotta redo the doors to the double doors. So we'll just grab the roof pieces first. But we are gonna actually need a couple more walls too for the sides of the roof. Okay, so one thing that's really nice about Ascended is uh, you can build from a lot further out now. You don't have to be super close to everything. And I like how it kind of tell uh, can tell which direction you know, you want to go with like these sloped pieces too. It's very nice. Just got to kind of position it correctly. Okay, good. Very good. Now let's put the ceiling pieces in. Stand back a little bit. Okay, do I just press E to flip? No, I don't want to flip it. I want it to go the other freaking way, man. Oh, 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 just had it a second ago. What was the position I had that in to get that to work? I have to figure this out. It was working for just a second. Do we... Uh, it. There we go. It just doesn't give you very many pixels, you know, to get the cursor position correctly. All right, come on, man. What's screwing around here? Get, <laughs> get in position. Assume, pos assume the position. Uh, had it just for a second. There we go. Okay. Ah, okay. So if you kind of put it right along the edge of the the other slope, there we go. Oh yeah, that makes sense because I'm telling it, hey, attach to this surface. Okay, I get it. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Excellent. Okay. So that gets our roof in place. I love it. Absolutely love it. Now, um, I, I want to make another a, a loft like we did before. So we're going to need some ceiling pieces for that. Let's go out here and grab those. And I also got some railing pieces. All right, so to get up in the loft, we want the ladder. We don't want the ladder to be in the way. But what we could do. Um, okay, I have an idea. Let's go ahead and I think I just snapped a piece on the outside there. Oh, we're out. Did I snap a piece outside? I sure did. Look at that. Okay, let's pick that up. Oh, 
Okay, so I think what we'll do then is we'll put we'll put the ladder maybe well, the problem is we're gonna bonk our head though. Maybe we'll put the ladder right here to get up there. Uh, I don't really want to put it in the corner because, you know, then that makes it dif more difficult for us to put, like, storage and workstations and stuff like that. And we'll probably not be using this entrance quite as much. I mean, there's a lot of stone and stuff I can harvest out here, but the point being that it'd probably be better to put the ladder maybe more towards the back of the house than the front because we'll we'll probably be coming through this way more often. At least that's the theory. So with that being said, well, here, let's go ahead and put these up first. So we want these to be rails. Oh, right. That's going to, I wish they had like a half rail. Yeah, that's going to stick out. Um, I wonder if it would let me scooch up there uh, in that little corner. Put that there. <laughs> okay, well let's make let's make a ladder. Uh we got oh by the way, I'm level four well 42 now. I leveled massively by just making all these wood pieces. Uh I'm working on fortitude right now. I think we're gonna get that to at least 20. To start with and we'll eventually get it higher than that uh okay so uh, i want to make a ladder and we also need to make a couple of double doors too which oh you know i think i need to learn both of those things yeah so let's learn learn the ladder and the double door oh i'll bet you we can just turn those into double doors oh nice okay yeah let's just do that well hello there little baby fiomia we're going to grab, nab a couple of those for poop factories. What do I need for the ladder? Let's just uh, track that. We need a little bit of fiber and a little bit of thatch. Okay, so let's make this. And these, we should be able to just... Oh, it just automatically knows it's a double door. Oh, cool. All right. Well, look at that. What do you know? What do you know? Here, let's just do it this way. Okay. Um. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think it's going to let me get away with this, but let's just see. Nope. <laughs> Okay, um, then that means we are going to have to put it in this position. And... Yeah, it's, it's too bad the... It's too bad the rails... Uh, that there isn't a half, what am I, no, put that away. Uh, that there isn't a half version of the rails. Because if I do that, it's going to obviously stick out. Eh, you know what, though? It doesn't look that bad, actually. Let's just do it, because it'll make the inside look nicer. The outside will look a little tiny jank. The inside will look really nice if we do it that way. Okay, cool. Now we can go grab our bed off of the shore and put it in here, but I'll do that later. Okay, so, uh, and, you know, for this episode, I'm just going to build the exterior with you guys, and then I'll take care of the interior decoration off camera. Okay, so now what I want to do is... I want to build like a little dock here and just trying to decide if I want to use foundations or ceilings. If we did, 
If we did ceilings with, say, like pillars, that would be kind of cool looking, like a cool looking porch idea. Um, okay. Uh, if we do that, I'm going to have to gather up all the stuff. So, yeah, let me do that. Let me gather up all the stuff. So I think we'll do ceilings and pillars for the wraparound porch rather than foundations. So I'll be back in a bit. All right, guys, we're back. And uh, let's go ahead and put our... Uh, decking pieces in first and then I still need to go out and get uh, pillars a couple pillars made too we don't need them um, as far as the game is concerned but I think it'll it'll look nice nicer if we uh, whoop, if we put pillars down I uh, must have miscounted by one. Either that or I... Did I misplace one? Uh, oh, we're going to have to turn, the, turn that one around, too. Okay. There we go. Okay. Oops, hit the wrong button there. Okay, cool. Um, oh, we got two points. Let's uh, go fortitude there. And now we want to make some pillars. And let's see. I'm thinking, well, we definitely want them in the corners. Uh, I mean, uh, I, that's, there isn't much we can do about that. It's just the way it's got to be. And we are cold to the point that we're starting to take some damage here. Um, so let's go, let's just grab this wood here and wait, did I put it in there? Oh, I did. Duh. I put the wood inside, not outside. Uh, let's light the fire, warm up a little bit, and we can also use our torch. We must just have a cold snap go on or something. Okay, well, anyway, I'm going to warm up and gather up enough resources to put uh, the pillars in, and then we'll do the rails after that. Okay, guys, we've got the pillars... So we're going to put one in each corner. Kind of didn't really need one there, but that's right. And then we'll put one in the center. There, and then we're out here. Yeah, we'll put one in the center there. That should be good. If we... Could we put, yeah, see, so we can't put one in, in between these two to make it even, so I think we're just going to run with this. I'm also wondering if I should do a deck um, out the back here, too, just so it completely wraps around the house. It'll, how many ceilings do I have left? Um, oh no, those are, yeah, I only got the one left. Yeah, I'll worry about that later. Okay, so let's put that away. Let's get these out. And... Yeah, what I'm going to do... Oh, I guess we have to jump up there. I figured we'd be able to just step on it. We want the raft... Uh, this to be kind of the entryway here. So I think what we'll do is we'll leave that there and then everything else will just be like a wraparound porch. We'll 
We might leave an opening there though too. So, oh shit. So that we oh, that actually kind of looks nice. Hmm. I like that. <laughs> It looks like it should be that way. Problem over here, though, is that it, uh, unless we, uh, could we get that to, that's actually not bad. I can't, I think I like that. Okay. Uh, completely unintentional, but. Yeah. Here's what I'm thinking, though. Maybe put that there. Pick this one back up. And we could put a, a stair. A stairwell here. Oh, yeah, I went and grabbed my bed. Let's actually put that down. That's all we need is to die for some unexpected reason. Because, you know, this is Ark. And then not have our bed down. That would suck. Okay, so that's taken care of. Can we also put that down? And... No, it doesn't want to go underneath there. But I'm probably going to actually put some ceiling pieces in the back here just to, just to make it look good. Okay, anyway, let's go back over here. And grab these. And we're going to need to make some more of this, those other ones too. But what I was thinking is we put a stairwell on that side. And a stairwell on this side. Like that. And we can still get up from the side too. And then when we bring the, the raft in... This thing is so fast. I could, I can remove that boulder that, well, I guess we don't really need to. Jeez. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to try and navigate that a little bit better, but we, you know, we basically pull up to here and then we offload. Okay, cool. All right, so guys, I'm going to cut the camera here. I'm going to... Um, farm up the rest of uh, the rails and ceiling pieces that I need to finish this. And then when we're done with that, uh, then we're going to go do a little bit of exploration on the island. So I'll see you in just a bit. All right, guys. We are finished with the exterior of the base for now. Uh, I think it looks pretty darn good, all things considered, for just something we didn't spend a whole lot of time and effort putting together. Um, so yeah, I added the, the back porch here and, uh, it just kind of clips into the ground, but it gives us a nice little smooth ramp to get on, uh, to the porch. Uh, we put the rails down, uh, on the bottom here and a couple of stairs on each side. I also ground up all the resources, uh, for a fireplace and got that in the corner right now. So we are in good shape. We got our, our bed up here. I will be working, um, off camera to... Uh, build all the workstations, get the storage set up, and, you know, take care of all the interior stuff. Um, we'll do that later. So what we're going to do for the second part of this episode is we're going to just kind of uh, take a little quick exploration of Herbivore Island here. Um, there is a an Ankly, Anklio, wandering around here somewhere. It's a level 40, which is not bad. It's certainly not, yeah, right here. Uh, it would definitely get a start. It's kind of got some cool colors here, too. Uh, but yeah, level 40 Anki right there. So we will most likely tame that unless we find something uh, even a little bit better. We're probably going to tame, tame this guy, um, you know, for our poop factory. I don't I don't know if we'll go after this. This Stego's only a level 5 anyway, so we'll probably end up sending it to heaven. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but the thing is, is, I don't have mortar and pestle. I don't have a forge. I don't have any of that stuff set up yet. Uh, so right now we're just going to look around because, you know, any, any animals that we find on this island that we decide to tame, they're not going anywhere. I'm not going to do like a dino wipe or anything and we can uh, get them later. So yeah, let's just kind of look around. And I also want to 
go find the metal notes because I know we're supposed to have some on here. Look at you. What level are you? It's so hard to see the... You're level 70. Yeah, you're a pretty big dude. Oh, here's another ink. What, what's your level? 105. Nice. Okay. Are you... You're a female. Okay, cool. Um, if that other one's a male, we might get them both and breed them. But, okay, yeah, that's definitely the uh, candidate for right now. And, you know, we can use inks for berry gathering too. But I would like to get another uh, decent level Moz Chops. Because they're just such lo good little dinos, you know, for, for gathering resources, berries, fiber in particular. Uh, but berries too, they're really pretty good at that. Okay, anyway, let's um, let's just kind of run around a little bit and see uh, what there is to see. Uh, one thing I've noticed about Arc Ascended is there's so much more vegetation and you know foliage on the map than there used to be. So uh, overall, that's a, a cool thing, but it, it it makes it a little bit difficult sometimes to assess the landscape, if you know what I mean. Um, especially if you're looking for a place to build. Um, you know, that thing too is, I, I haven't actually seen any moss chops on this island, but we can always go back to the mainland and, well, the main island and get one, uh, if we need to. Uh, trikes are, oh, trikes are not bad berry gatherers either. Is your parents gone? No, it's not letting me, it's not letting me, uh, tame it. So yeah, it's mama or dad or whatever is around somewhere. I'm sure. Okay. Uh, let's run over here. Stegos are also pretty good ber berry gatherers as well. But it's just going to be so much easier for us to get our Moz Chops, I think. As uh, assuming the Moz Chops... She's level 35. Assuming the Moz Chops is... Um, you know, wants the wants stuff that we can get for it. That's the, that's the trick there. You're just a level 10 Bronto. All right. Let's go over around the beach this way before we go up into the island. There's another ink. Okay, let's see what level you are. You are level 80 male. Okay, so this could be the male to the to the female then that we found there if we decide to tame both of them for breeding purposes. Right it get a drink of water. Oh, I guess, yeah, I guess we don't need a drink of water. And then, let's see, we just kind of come around back this way. Just looking to see what other critters are around. Another trike with a baby, and another Fiomia with a baby. Oh, no, another Anki. You are low level 55. Okay, so yeah, we won't be taming you. Uh, we'll probably at some point either grab a Pelagornis or a Pteranodon, since those are the two flyers that are available to us. A Pelagornis would probably be make more sense, at least for traveling back and forth to the main island. Because, you know, we always run that risk of... Um, you know, running into a leads if we if we take the raft. Okay, well, let's go on up here. Oh, we got a blue drop. Nice. I was going to say, I, I think I hear a drop. Sure enough. Okay, it's not down yet, so... You're a level 50 Pteranodon. You're a level 120. Wow, that's a nice high level Pteranodon right there. Okay, that one we'll definitely keep in mind. What about you? You're a 50. Okay. More trikes up here. Okay, this gets us up to the ridge. There's some metal right there. Beautiful. Okay. So we'll have to we'll have to harvest another track or uh, sorry, Anki. You're level 25. Okay. We'll have to harvest the first little bit of metal by hand, obviously, because we're gonna need it to make the workbench and all that kind of thing, or the smithy. 
And maybe we'll get something really useful out of this blue drop. There's metal right there, too. Cool. So, yeah, there's a pretty generous amount of metal on this island. I wonder, another ink. Lots of inks. You know what I haven't seen, though, is a dodic kit. Inks do a, a fairly decent job of getting stone. Not Nothing like a dodic can, but better than I'm going to be able to, unless I get a really good tool. So even if we just get a good solid Anki, that's going to help with stone gathering as well. Yeah, look at there's There is a really decent, generous amount of metal on this island. I'm uh, happy about that. Don't know about crystal, though. But, you know, once we get a flying critter, crystal is not going to be that hard to get. And again, it's just, it's really difficult to to see uh, with all this vegetation. I'm not spotting anything that looks like crystal. And I don't remember if crystal ever was on this island. But at least we know we got metal, so that's good. All right, let's go back over and check that blue drop. Did we look at you? You're a level 75, okay. Okay, give us something good, game. I'd say that's pretty good stuff. Look at that crossbow. Beautiful. And a pretty nice, uh... uh well, it's not... It's seven points of armor better than the normal one. But still, that's better than the normal one. Okay, cool. So, yeah, we got ourselves a, a crossbow. Uh, we're just going to replace the primitive bow with this. And load up the crossbow with bolts, and then later on, of course, we can use that also for um, uh, for trank, uh, trank darts. And then uh, we also got ourselves a decent little ramshackle pick, too. Uh, so we can use that for, of course, gathering fiber. Oh, my God. Look at how much fiber that thing's getting. Are you kidding me? Oh, 2,000 fiber with, like, three hits? Dang. That, that seems a little OP, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at our house down there. That's cool. Uh, all right, guys. So, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. This one might be a little bit shorter, but, you know, usually my episodes are, are longer, so we'll do a shorter one this time. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spend as much time as I need to uh, just working on getting the interior of the base kitted out with our, our workstations that we need. I uh, start getting trank darts made up and stuff. And then the tentative plan for the next episode will be to go after some critters, um, starting with that high-level female Ankylosaur, and then uh, maybe we'll, depending on how our time goes, maybe we'll get a bird too, uh, either a Pelagornis and or that uh, really high-level, um, whatchamacallit, that we saw Pteranodon. Okay, so with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Thank you.